Bonjour. Est-ce que ça va? Uh, I don't know. Ah, an American. Italiano. Oh my god, him! Wow, decisive. No, no, I know him. Emily. Emily. I'm fine, I just, I don't really know how to ski very well. Huh. The Italian stallion? No worry, Emily. I'll help you down the mountain. You really don't have to do that. What kind of man would I be if I left a beautiful woman stranded like this? What do you do? Uh, we... <clears throat> we raise goats. Well, a French man, apparently. May I? The American girl from Chef. You saved my life, and I, I don't even know your name. Ah, uh, Marcello. What? He's the guy that rescued me at the top of the mountain in Bajev. Emily? Hi again. You know each other? Of course. So now you've been with a French guy, a British guy, back to French, and now Italian? You're really stamping your passport, huh? I'm not in Paris for long. Ciao, beautiful Emily. So you're a goat herd? I'm learning so much about you. And I learned so much about you too today, lonely goat herd. Can I see you before I leave? Yeah, uh, yeah, I would love that. This is gorgeous. Oh, my company is hosting a party for Bavatsa tonight. Please come, you'll feel right at home. Buonasera. Ciao. Do you miss Chicago? So, tour guide, what's the next step? I know you started an Italian streak on Duolingo. You're into him. Okay, yes, he's handsome and... Yeah, I do. But now, Paris is my favorite city in the world. There was no stamping, okay? We just talked and walked and, uh, you know, did my first sprint. Marcello, I thought you were flying to Rome. I'd rather miss a fly than miss a party. You're never gonna get back to your hotel like this. Well, I don't want to go to sleep anyway. If I go to bed, it means this perfect day is over. I'll actually be home and fly back to Rome today. Oh, I wish we had more time. I wish we had more time too. When are you coming back to Paris? Not sure. You are stalking me now? Hmm? No! Hmm? No, no, I I came here because I had absolutely no idea that my boss was going to ambush me like that. So you told your mother about me? And I was looking forward to meeting this Emily who Marcello will not stop talking about. <laughs> really? He talks about me? Ever since he met you. Charming and he's so sweet. When are you coming to Rome? Well, there's a fantasy. I'm serious. I told you that's not true. Congratulations. You got what you wanted. Come this weekend. I'll send you a ticket. Martello! Emily. I don't know how much Emily's told you, but I'd love to discuss what our marketing firm can do for your company. Sophie! You don't waste any time. You're only here for a few days. There's a lot to see. Look with your eyes, not with your phone. Okay, you're right. Are you going to be really embarrassed if I want to throw a coin? Why? You're a tourist. I'm embarrassed if you don't. Just take some vacation days and have an adventure. Some of my friends have learned the That would be amazing. Thank you. Marcello, I don't want to work with you, Marcello. You put him out to pasture already? 
more like the other way around. Oh. So, what happened with the Italian stallion? I had absolutely nothing to do with this. I, I only came here to see you. I only came to Rome for one reason, to see you. I told my mother I met someone special and I let her get away. Mm. So she said, if it was meant to be, we would find our way back to each other. I know that face. What's going on? Oh, well, maybe you hadn't noticed, but someone is missing here. I'm back into business. I'm only saying it because I really care about you and I think that we could help. What are you doing? So, when am I going to see you again? Oh, that depends. When are you coming back to Paris? I know you're planning on selling your company to JVMA, and I think it's a big mistake. Maybe Sylvie was right. There we go again. Tomorrow I'm going back to Paris. But change your mind. My mother overheard what you were saying, and she's curious to hear more. I was worried you weren't coming because you were upset with me. I think you made a mistake coming here. So in the end, you really were here for the business, not me. I'm sorry. But now you have a lot of publicity.